So this one is entitled The Blanco River at Five Mile Dam. We walked the bank together, sharing the marvel of this November day, still washed with vivid hues of summer. The trees savor each drop of turquoise sky. Its reflection slowed behind a bridge of stone seeps back to the edge of the world. What barrier hoards this warm air, this shade of subtle laughter? An invisible weir quills the insistent brush of autumn and the eager winter. Yet a sudden wind sweeps gray through the scene. Leaves rush to the earth, whisper towards us in waves of gold. We are held by the moment, suspended between motion and the silence. Fox, sitting in the wood with a blade in my hand, I balance the beauty and tragedy of my life on its deadly edge. A dull fatigue freezes contemplation, and I dream upon the fragrance of dark leaves that once sang in the breeze. The illusion of oblivion is broken by a sensation of presence. A silhouette in the filtered moonlight. At arm's length, a creature gazes at me, tilts its head and flees. The shadow bleeds into the indignant night. What does it mean? What does it mean? Singing at a funeral, I do not know the man in the coffin draped with silk. I cannot see the face flushed of its blush, the conduits drained and filled with resin, nor the mosaic of thoughts that fell tile by tile until only a void remained. After a time, in the absence of liquid and light, a hand full of dust. Beautiful. So, Sils Maria, where uh, Friedrich Nietzsche did his, a lot of his work for Alzo Sprach, Zarathustra. Sils Maria. His soul soared in the light air and perfume of mountain flowers. Half blind, he stumbled to the embrace of large roots, caught his breath in the cleft of his stone. As he peered through tinted frames and the haze of the Silvese, he caught a glimpse of the sun. Later, in the dim room, he fell asleep on his own shadow. His soul soared in the light air and perfume of mountain flowers. Beautiful. historical person J.S. Bach and they dug up his bones to analyze them so I, I saw this article and wrote this <laughs> Bach's bones laid out so lovingly the ledger of his life now cleansed and measured as if to find the music's mystery those feet that made the bass the pelvic lyre and scale of ribs are searched but mastery is not found in ornamental carpels nor in the cranium deprived of light. It rides the wake of fleeting and electric flesh, an inner voice that sings. And finally, <laughs> the thrust of doves. Can this be all, the thrust of doves against the lapis sky, the sun blush in the sea, when the gorged moon pools through the sieve of trees and my essence dissipates, sun drawn through the roots, when I can no longer pose the question, it will be answered. Oh, beautiful.